Stop, Aizoma, une minute. And we have one minute to launch. Time to say our very best wishes to everybody who's worked so hard for today. To the Prisma teams, the Industrial Consortia, led by OHB Italia and Leonardo, the Italian Space Agency, the operational teams, who are waiting to fly their satellite once it's separated, to CNES, ESA, Arian Space, and of course to all of you who are watching us on the internet. Good luck everybody for the launch. À tout de DDO, attention pour le décompte final. Dix, neuf, huit, sept, six, cinq, quatre, trois, deux, un, top. Allumage P80, décollage de V14 Prisma. Propulsion nominale. Propulsion nominale. Acquisition de la télémesure par la station de Saint-Jean. Pilotage calme, propulsion nominale. And they are off Prisma to start its journey. Nominale. Vega blazing a trail across the night sky here is over, in the skies over the uh, Guiana Space Center. The Vega launcher takes its name from the brightest star in the galaxy of Lyra, in the nominal. constellation of Lyra. Fifth brightest star in the night sky, and tonight she is lighting up our night sky. Heading north now over the Atlantic. Separation P80. And we can see the separation there of the first stage. Allumage Z23. And he's telling us that the second stage is switching on the Z23. This is what we're looking at now. It's, Z23 nominal. He's telling us that the propulsion of the engine is nominal. And there's the beginning of the dog leg maneuver. The dog leg maneuver is taking us out towards the north. Separation on the right. Z23. On the right, the speed. And now confirmation of the separation of the Z23 stage. Burnt its fuel. We don't need it anymore. There's a few Allumage seconds. Z9. Now we have a confirmation of the. Separation de la coiffe. Z9 is now switched on and the engine, the uh, fairing, has now been nominal. jettisoned. The propulsion, he says, is nominal. So we don't need the fairing anymore. It was, it was protecting our satellite from the rigors of the launch. It was protecting us from friction. It was protecting us from the acoustic vibrations at liftoff. I'm sure you can imagine just how loud that is or was. And so we are officially in space. Separation Z9. And we have separation of the Z9, Z for Zephyro, a kind of wind, an Italian wind, a little bit like the Sirocco or the Mistral. Fin d'acquisition de la télémesure par la station de Galio. 
And the Galio tracking station has now... Uh, we've now gone out of range of the Galio tracking station. That's the one that was at the Guiana Space Centre. And we've switched on the engine of the Avum first stage, or Avum as it's pronounced in French and m- maybe in Italian as well. So we've really started the next phase of our journey now. And it, we've just finished the barbecue phase, a technical term indeed. For the rotational phase when we rotate as if on a spit to keep those thermal temperatures nice and even. So now we've switched on our engine. For, we've switched the engine on for a second burn. He's telling us that everything's nominal. Section de la Vum types of liquid propellant and those have been now burnt out because we are switching off the engine. A liquid propellant is very useful for the upper stage because it gives it more precision. Au profit de Prisma. And now beginning of the orientation phase to start putting Prisma into its correct orientation to be separated. So we're now on orbit. Look at the bottom left. We're 625 kilometers above Earth. That's our separation orbit. This is what it looks like up there. Fin de la manoeuvre d'orientation au profit de Prisma. This is Prisma's view of our planet. And the the upper stage is going through a very precise and very carefully planned set of manoeuvres. We need to orientate our satellite absolutely correctly and so that we can put it onto the perfect path for it to be able to then go through its next set of um, operations once it's been separated. In order to orientate the upper stage... Avum has two sets of monopropellant thrusters which Separation control Prisma. the role and attitude. And he has confirmed that we have separation of the Prisma satellite. And that's what it looks like. The satellite is pushed away by a set of springs. It is pinged into space, all very carefully planned for collision avoidance. And this is good news. Italy has a new satellite. Our warmest congratulations. Our warmest congratulations to the Prisma teams, to the Italian Space Agency, the Industrial Consortia, led by OHB Italia and Leonardo. Well done, everybody.